My name is Tamar Cunningham and I'm graduating in 2018. One of my favorite memories here at uh, Fairhaven has been the Greenfield Village, first of all. I remember that because you got to go back into doing, kind of step back in time and you got to see how things used to be. I remember riding the Model T car. That had to be my favorite highlight of the day. But I think my perhaps my favorite memory would have been Turkey Run. And t we got to go on a canoe trip down a little river and underneath some covered bridges. And I remember there was this one outlet, <coughs> this one outlet where we just stopped and we just jumped out and we were just like swimming around in the river. And then we turned around and looked and we saw some signs that said, no swimming. We were like, oh well, who's going to tell on us? So we just kept on swimming until the rest of the group caught up with us and we had to keep going. Some of the most positive influences I've had here is especially the staff, because all of them I've been able to sit down over the course of my years and be able to just talk to them and get to know them better and also they've been able to help me you know Miss Ramis she always makes herself available to us and many times there's things I've said and you know I may not mean it the way I say it and it came out wrong and so she kind of helps me to kind of uh, kind of direct me on what how I should act as a lady because I come from a I being a country girl I come from uh, from a tomboy situation where I'm very rough and tough around the edges and so I've been really refined by that. I'm still very much a country girl, but I, as one teacher put it, I took in the she's took in the country city and put it in me and I've made it my own country twist to it. I think the most, per the most I will miss here is the ministries because back home I don't have any ministries. I, in fact, I learned how to soul win coming to college. I've learned how to, what a bus ministry is and how a bus route runs and I've learned how to work with children and I've always worked with first and second grade in at Fairhaven and I've always loved my first and second graders it's learning how to get games down on their level or teach them on their level so that they understand is something that I totally can't wait to be able to get out there into the ministry of wherever God has me and be able to use what I've been taught and put it to good use to those future students, I would have to say, try it for at least one year. I mean, there's nothing like getting at least a solid background in Bible, and that's something you will find here, is you'll find an easy to understand format to be able to understand the Bible and get to know God more. And um, even if you talk, can talk to the teachers, they will help you. It will get rough at times because it's not been an easy, all, it's not all easy. At first it'll seem like that way because you know when you first come here it's exciting and it's, it's uh, rigorous and then all of a sudden the classes start, the assignments start coming and it can get challenging and get tricky. But, but um, if I can do it, I know that, that you can do it.